Item number, SCP-2113. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2113 is stored on a raised platform in Custom Underground Containment Chamber B-08 at Biosite 66. Underground Containment Chamber B-08 is accessed through two entrances. Corridor B-08, accessed via Floor B-2 of Site-66's main building, or via elevator installed in outbuilding A-11, which was constructed on the surface above the chamber. Corridor B-08 extends directly from the main building to UCC B-08, and allows for uninterrupted travel directly to the observation lab. UCC B-08 measures 10 meters to each side, and is situated at a depth of 90 meters underground. The observation lab sits at 5 meters above the floor level of the chamber, with a glass wall permitting observation of the item and entity. SCP-2113-01 appears to be restricted to the immediate area around SCP-2113. It may occasionally pass through physical barriers in its containment, but a breach has been deemed highly unlikely at this time. Description SCP-2113 is the collective fragments of an incomplete fossilized skull, identified as belonging to a member of the species Leopleurodon ferox, an aquatic pleosaurid apex predator that existed during the Jurassic period. The specimen was recovered in a damaged state, with a majority of fossil fragments embedded in a stone matrix with a combined weight of 133 kilograms. The remainder of the skeleton could not be located during SCP-2113's excavation, despite efforts by paleontological teams scouring the area over eight months following initial recovery. SCP-2113-01 is a large, insubstantial entity measuring 6 to 8 meters long, closely associated with SCP-2113. It is actively mobile and faintly luminescent, with an oblong shape that tapers to a blunt point near its front. Its behavior is erratic. While normally relatively docile, the entity has repeatedly displayed outbursts of violent activity resulting in mild telekinetic activity and electromagnetic disturbance throughout Site-66. SCP-2113-01 has not yet proven capable of physically manipulating its surroundings in a direct manner. Mental Effects when in a docile state and approached by a human, SCP-2113-01 will vanish and not reappear until a period of time has passed, usually lasting between 4 and 9 hours. Mild electromagnetic activity and temperature changes will often occur in the general vicinity of SCP-2113-01's most recent location, the occurrence of which is inconsistent between events. These disappearances are not considered to be containment breaches, due to the entity's predictability in remaining near SCP-2113. Sporadically, SCP-2113-01 will become aggressive towards living biological entities approaching its containment. When in an aggressive state, SCP-2113-01 will remain suspended still in the air for periods of 20 minutes to 2 hours at a time moving rapidly to bite prey targets that it detects within 10 meters of its location. Due to its non-physical nature, SCP-2113-01 has, in the past, shown capable of moving through physical barriers to reach its targets. It has never been seen to travel more than 100 meters from SCP-2113. Targets bitten by SCP-2113-01 report immediate visual, auditory, and tactile hallucinations which typically last for a period of 15 to 20 minutes. Additionally, they often experience severe depersonalization and dysphoria, which fade over the course of 7 to 12 days. Victims are usually rendered near catatonic for the duration of this initial effect. Experiences are relatively consistent between victims, with a majority reporting that they found themselves existing as a large animal, presumably Leopleurodon ferox, within a warm aquatic environment. Various activities have been reported, including, but not restricted to, hunting, territorial disputes with other large predatory fauna, and intentional beaching for an unknown reason. Individuals with no prior knowledge of Jurassic ecology have accurately described the appearance of various flora and fauna appearing in their particular hallucinations. Victims of this hallucinatory effect universally describe a visceral disconnect from their self, 
and how they feel as if they are the animal through which these hallucinations are experienced. In most cases, victims in the early stages of recovery exhibit profound confusion and lack of coordination. Rehabilitation is gradual but usually successful, with all past victims of this effect having reached a full recovery within 60 days after the encounter. Interviewees have vividly described the instinctive nature of the experiences, as well as specific physical and emotional sensations consistent across events. Atypical Incident SCP-2113-01 passed through the bulkhead of the observation lab and attacked researcher Greer before vanishing for 73 minutes. Mr. Greer was rendered unconscious and could not be roused for 2 hours 16 minutes, at which point he became conscious but catatonic. He was put under secure observation for several days, during which he lapsed into brief periods of unconsciousness at irregular intervals. Eleven days after the initial attack, he regained a measure of lucidity and promptly volunteered an account of his experience. A transcribed log will not be provided here, due to the length and disorganized nature of his account. Researcher Greer's experience was markedly divergent from the established pattern. While initially set underwater and through the eyes of the animal, as expected, he proceeded to describe a vague event, in which the water was singing and cracking, and that his bones were scraped off. He then described in detail a series of sensations throughout his body, as it was buried by sediment and remained in place for an impossible length of time, and that he was there until after the desert was gone. It is believed that these sensations, described among other things as hardening or a hard numb, enunciation was unclear, corresponded to the fossilization process that led to the creation of SCP-2113. The nature of the other described event involving singing and breaking slash cracking water is as of yet unknown, but is hypothesized to have contributed to the creation of SCP-2113-01. Approximately 40 minutes after returning to consciousness, researcher Greer underwent cardiac arrest, brought on by persistent exhaustion and physiological stress. No other victim of SCP-2113-01's effect has undergone an event like his. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Lesby Friends, Alexis Zagrate, Scrubversive, Everborn, and Totally Not a Femboy. And a huge thank you to my level 5 patron, Doomsday LLC Prints and Design. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.